nuclear bomb proposed to be dropped on the Netherlands at Kremlin propagandists' show. Russian State Duma Deputy Andrei Gurulev suggested dropping a nuclear bomb on the Netherlands to bring Europe to its knees. Gurulev said this on air of the propaganda Russia One TV channel. According to the deputy, such an attack will be able to bring Europe to its knees because according to Gurulev, 50 to 60 percent of Europe's hydrocarbon supply is in the Netherlands. Somewhere between 50 to 60 percent of Europe's supply of hydrocarbons is in Holland. Can you imagine in Holland on the coast? The military call it a creamy target. We understand perfectly well how to inflict critically unacceptable damage to bring Europe to its knees. And it's a matter of a day, within a minimum consumption of nuclear warheads, Gurulev said. When Russian propagandist Vladimir Solovyov reiterated that the strike must be specifically nuclear, Gurulev said, it necessarily must be specifically weapons of mass destruction. I think that this determination is something we need to show. Gurulev concluded, Since invading Ukraine in 2022, President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly made veiled threats to use tactical nuclear weapons against the West. Russia has tended to raise the nuclear specter when its invasion of Ukraine has hit obstacles or when other countries make new pledges of support for Ukraine. After Ukraine liberated large swathes of its territory in late 2022, Putin conceded that the war is going to take a while and warned of the increasing threat of nuclear war. In February last year, Putin announced that Russia would suspend participation in the New START treaty, a key nuclear arms reduction agreement with the United States, the last remaining pact that regulates the world's two largest nuclear arsenals. Putin said Russia would not be the first to test nuclear weapons, but would do so in the event of a US test. China deploys armada of ferries and civilian vessels for operation in Taiwan. China's largest naval exercise off the coast of Taiwan has caused considerable concern in the West. Various media outlets are trying to analyze and understand Beijing's further actions to restore the territorial integrity of the China. According to analysts from The Telegraph, the China Navy does not have a sufficient number of landing ships to transfer the main forces to Taiwan. However, China has already conducted military exercises involving civilian ships and ferries that could be used to transport personnel and military equipment across the strait. Beijing lacks amphibious ships, but 10 years ago it issued technical guidelines for shipbuilders that would allow many of its civilian vessels to be suitable for military use. They have already been used in military exercises, writes The Telegraph. Analysts emphasize that landing troops under fire from the Taiwanese army could be a very difficult maneuver for the China. However, China will attract an armada of ferries and civilian ships for the operation which will allow the transfer of up to 300,000 soldiers and the necessary equipment at the same time. Such a maneuver can be carried out in no more than 10 days which will make it possible to suppress with mass the resistance of the Taiwanese army, which is significantly outnumbered, citing American intelligence data. The Telegraph writes that Xi Jinping is preparing a full-scale military operation in Taiwan by 2027. Let us recall that Global Press previously reported that the operation to return the disputed island to the China could begin as early as June of this year. The Chinese Civil War ended with the Chinese Communist Party taking power in the mainland, establishing the People's Republic of China in Beijing in 1949. The defeated Nationalist Party fled to Taiwan, moving the seat of their Republic of China government from the mainland to Taipei. Both proclaimed themselves the sole rightful government of the entire Chinese territory. In recent years, Taiwan has downplayed its territorial claims over mainland China and is today a vibrant democracy with its own military, currency, constitution and elected government. Уже полька по ним работать начала. 